Welcome to part 19 of Shark King's Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. In the last episode, I took on the leader Team Aqua Maxi at the top of Mount Chimney. Stupid! And sadly, I lost another Pokemon in that scuffle. Man, I was hoping Lampy would help me out with passing a wish to Mati Mato to deal with that camera, but that thing just had to get a critical hit on Ember and kill her in one hit. Despite that amazing special offense, I'm at a loss. I can't believe that happened. I was really hoping I could keep you around for longer. I really liked having your support around. But, now I have to send you off. Well, we know the drill by now, thanks to May. Let's take one last look at Lampy. I'm so sorry, Lampy. I don't think you ever really got to shine out of maybe fighting some random trainers in the Marvel Gym. I was hoping I could make you a bit more youthful than that, and I did try. But man, I wasn't expecting you to go down like that. That was on me. I'm so sorry about this, Lampy. I don't know what else to say. Farewell. Five deaths already, man. Well, I guess I'll have to think about a new team member, but there is... Speaking of a new team member, and you are oblivious, I wanted to check your ability real quick. There is one way of getting an encounter in this place, and for that, I need Caldera. Because... He's a Slugma. Slugma always have either Flame Body or Magma Armor, and both of those abilities are good for hatching eggs. Why is that relevant? Mainly because of this person over here, I think. Yeah. I have an egg, and I already know what this is gonna hatch into, but you know what? Since there's no other way of getting an encounter in Lava Ridge Town... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Lava Ridge Town, not City. I might as well just evolve this egg right here. So, I'll see you guys in a bit, when it's ready to hatch. This is taking forever, even with the fact that spike in the series and the ability to use one of those incubating abilities. Talk about redundant. Oh my god, finally, let's hatch this egg already. As I was singing earlier, that took forever. But yeah, I have a why not now. Question is, what am I gonna name it? You'll find out in like one second. Your name is Karma, cause that's kind of fitting for the way you counter attacks. Or at least, I'm pretty sure you will eventually, but I don't think you even have those moves yet. Your, ha your nature is Jolly, which really doesn't matter too much cause you're not gonna use an attacking move ever. Yeah, I didn't think you had either move. But yeah, I might have a look at Caldera while we're here and, oh yeah, I might have already done that, but careful, bad nature, like I said. Yeah. Might as well take a look at everyone else, right? Well, let's take a look at our Pork Trooper, huh? Lax, that raises one of your defenses and lowers the other. Looks like raises special defense and lowers defense, which is kind of dicey, but yeah. You have own tempo, which is nice because you never get confused. Batman, docile, I don't think that does anything for stats, which is actually kind of nice. And then there's my local Lily, who is adamant. Oh, that's actually bad. <laughs> oh, that is loco. You're reducing the stat I'm actually gonna use with you. Really? And yeah, I already looked at one, too. So, no question, I'm putting Uragongo back in my party. But, do I really want to raise Karma, or would I rather raise someone like Pork Trooper? Or Batman? You know what? 
I think I'll give Pork Trooper a try. I'd never seriously rate this boink before. I'll do that. Put Karma back in here. And, yeah. Pretty sure I'm already... Wait, no, I don't think I ever actually healed off, so I'm gonna take care of that real quick. So... Oh, that's right. There's one more thing I want to take care of, which I should not have walked away from my PC for that. Jeez, I've got so much scattered stuff going on right now, it's hard to keep track of it, so... I'm gonna go to my PC and take out a rare candy that I put in here. Why? Jilly. That's why. Oh my goodness, Jilly. You need so much experience. You're like just under 2,000 away from finally learning Bubble Beam. I'm not having any of that. You are eating this rare candy and you are liking it. There we go, he finally got Bubble Beam. And I guess I'll get rid of Poison Sting because I don't really need it. Wish I could get rid of Cut, trust me, but I can't right now. I'll get rid of it eventually. But for now, you finally have a water move. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I think I'll make some more adjustments and meet you outside the center. Right, so I think I'm going to take care of a little more training in the Jagged Path, which I have to go all the way down here and then go up the cable car. But at least it gets me this nugget in the process. So, yeah, now that you know what I plan to do, I'm going to meet you up top at Mount Chimney. Yeah, in fact, I seem to remember there being trainers here after the whole Team Clash thing. Let's see if I'm right about- Oh yeah, that looks like someone. Let's see, what do you even fight with? Well, you do fight, so, yeah, now you're feeling strong. Let's see how strong you really are, huh? You are an expert named Shelby. Okay, Metatite. Don't think that's too threatening, but I kind of don't want to take any chances because these things do have devastating physical attacks. It just won't even know with any. But you know what? Irony's pretty good against it. Because if it does have any fighting attacks, I double resist them. Meditate, don't care. I'm just gonna blow you away. How long has it been since I made that over you joke? And how long has it been since I got detected by a Meditite like they always like to do? Double detect, of frickin' course. Just wait more of my time, why don't ya? Meditite or jerks, you heard it here first. Well, good thing that's not boosted by Meditate. Now get out. Actually, this might be a long way to level up for irony. Hidden power, what is that? Apparently fighting type. Okay. Now give me your experience. Bit for Nirigongo, bit for irony, which, yes, it levels her up. Nice. Morning Sun. That's kind of interesting. It's a healing move. I'm never going to use Absorb. Morning Sun is a better healing move than Absorb, seriously. <laughs> I kind of don't know why I still have Irony, because I was thinking of maybe swapping around for Batman, but you know what? I've raised way too many Crobat in my life. I want to try something else. Fake out. Ugh. Actually, this will be a good time to use Morning Sun. Let's do that. Huh. <laughs> I kind of like that animation, actually. Uh, sand attack though. Why? Get some wind in your eyes, I guess. Trust me, that's better than having sand in your eyes, you jerk. As soon as I guilt trip you more for using sand attack, use sand attack again. Seriously? Well, at least I double resist that. There we go. Now get out of my face already. Oh my god. Yeah. Come on. Really? Three misses now. I'm gonna keep doing this. I don't even care. Actually, you know what? I really don't care. I'm just gonna send out Port Trooper. <laughs> I'm trying to train him up anyway. Might as well give him the majority of this experience. Why not? Okay, that was pretty decent, even with your renewed defense. Give it some Psybeam. Yeah. Should have done that long ago, to be honest, but you know what? I wanted to try out Morning Sun, I guess. Alright, Shelby. <laughs> I think I'll take care of some healing real quick, if you'll let me. 
Ugh. Stupid match call system. I hate it. Actually, didn't need to heal that badly, but I at least got to rearrange my moves, and that's kind of nice. Alright, you think you're gonna win? I think otherwise, person. Surely. Ooh, Nummel Ditto. I could do that, but I really don't want to take any chances. Especially after what almost happened to Niragongo the last time I took a chance with him. So, Maru, you got this. <laughs> I've been relying on you so much lately, but I can't help it. You're just such a good bulwark against these kind of things. Now give this thing some bubbles. Everyone enjoys bubbles, right? Except Camel, apparently. <laughs> Little bit for you two, and nowhere near enough to level up Port Trooper, because of course. Alright. Is there anyone else up here? Oh yeah, there's the beauty who caught me completely off guard, but I was looking for more battles anyway. Why not? Sheila, and your shroomish. Okay, that thing I'm actually gonna let Nyaragongo fight. Yeah, I know, you've been wanting to fight, now you're actually getting to fight. Let's do this. Pretty good. Really good with the burn there. Nice. Mega Drain. Don't think that'll matter. Alright, yeah. That didn't really matter too much. Now burn an eight! And give me your experience. Wow. Just barely not enough. How close are you to leveling up? I'm legit curious now. I'll take that money though, but I'm curious. 19. Okay. I keep expecting something hilarious like 2 when this stuff happens, but 19 is still kind of funny. So... Oh god! I walked right into a 2v1. I did not want to do this. Didn't want to do this! Oh my goodness. What did I just walk into? I'm legit kicking myself for this right now. Okay, Meryl and Geodude? Okay, this shouldn't be too bad if I can get the Geodude out of the way, and thankfully I have Madu up here. But I'm so switching near a Gongo out, because I don't want that Meryl to spray me. Uh, you know what? Poor Trooper, you can handle this, and Madu can absolutely handle that Geodude. Get this thing out of here before it even tries anything like Magnitude, or... I think it even gets self-destruct at this level. I could be wrong, but yeah. Really did not want that thing to blow up, but yeah, there we go. Your Gongo leveled up. Pork Trooper leveled up, nice. And Bubble Beam, yeah, good thing I switched out near a Gongo. Like, really good thing. Thigh Beam, Secret Power. <laughs> nice, you're faster than Madu. Will this do it? Of course not, it's a Meryl. <laughs> Well, let's just keep it up. Blow this thing's mind, I guess. In beam form. Now for that, I absolutely need to heal poor Trooper, which I'm kind of running low on super potions, but I guess I can buy some more pretty soon. So, uh, yeah, I'll take care of... Oh my goodness, the stupid match call thing again. I didn't even... I didn't even remember any of these people registered in the match call, seriously. Alright, let's go back down Jagged Path because there were some trainers I missed because I was trying to hurry down and give Lampy her send off for a time I was going down the Jagged Pass. So yeah, let's take on the rest of these guys, huh? Gotta be a bit more careful. I already took you on. I didn't challenge you, so guess what? You're fighting me. And there's also that 2v1 pair which I'm actually gonna 1v1, unlike that other pair way up on the mountain, seriously. So shroomish, you're a gongo, love to see this. Burn the mushroom. But don't eat the mushroom. The mushroom trying to eat you, don't let it. Just give this thing some more burn in it, okay? Okay. Little burning with the ember. And yeah, no level ups from that, but let's see. Oddish, you can handle this. In fact, let's try out Magnitude. Why not? Five. That eh, could have been better. 
done for, don't care. I'll try it again. Eight this time, nice. This should kill it. Yeah, there we go. So next up is... Probably another grass type? No, Swablo. All right, this thing got good special defense or secret power time. Nice, got the confusion. Let's see if it hits itself. Nope, Adonis, I can deal. Just burn this thing some more. Oh, nice. I actually burn it. Which is good because Confusion did absolutely nothing and faded in one turn. Again. This has happened so much on Jagged Pass already, seriously. But at least that fight was hardly any trouble at all for Niragongo. Which is pretty nice. Oh, man. So, yeah. I don't know if either of these two register a match call, but I really should patch up Niragongo. Alright, now let's take these two on. Confident in your strengths. Confident enough for a 1v1? Let's find out. Picnicker Autumn. Hey, it's still summer where I am. So, Shroomish. We all know what to do with these things. Just burn and ate them, and watch them die in two hits. Simple as that. Okay, that's... Minorly annoying, but I would have been more annoyed by something like Stun Spore, to be perfectly honest. So glad I didn't see that. Now die. Give me all your experience. Which, as a Shroomage, is not much, but it's something. Alright, Autumn, what went wrong What went wrong is you used a grass type against a fire type, and I did not mean to jump that. Now you, fight me. <laughs> Oh man, I can only imagine if this were like in real life and you had to bike down this mountain. That would be scary. I don't blame you, Julio. Julio. Whatever. <laughs> Actually, I guess it is Julio. Well, it's a Magnemite, and I finally have a ground type. Give this thing some magnitude. Pretty sure even six will kill it. There we go. And I know it's dead because the shadow disappeared. Little trick for this game. Falling apart, whatever, buddy. So, any more trainers to fight? I kinda don't think so. Yeah, there's no one left to fight. So, you know what? I think I'll buy some stuff, heal up, and challenge the gym. Oh my goodness, I teleported! And now I'm teleporting straight into the gym, I guess. So, this place, it's got like this kind of steamy smoke whatever filter that makes it hard to see anything, and there's these sand pits, I guess. That's the gimmick of the gym. Navigate the sand pits. And watch out for trainers that ambush you, because of course they will. Heh. <laughs> so this guy likes volcanoes, how fitting for the fire gym. And he's got... a normal. Perfect bait for Mari Maru. Yup. I'm giving her some more attention because I think she's gonna be really useful in this gym. Might as well beef her up a little bit, right? Right. Yeah. And I guess I am still raising Port Trooper a little bit, because why not? <laughs> so yeah, I'm a little under level for this gym with my highest level being 25, but... I think with all the water types I have that actually have Bubble Beam now, I should be plenty set for this. I don't know, maybe that's my hubris talking, but let's find out, huh? Jason, your slugma. Let's see if we can bubble this thing away. Cool off that lava. Nope, not quite. Smog, I got Petcha Berries for days. I can handle this. <laughs> yeah, because I knew it was actually going to poison me. That was actually really predictable. So, just bubble this thing some more. Nothing more to it, just sp spray bubbles. Simple as that. <laughs> I'm running out of things to say, holy crap. <laughs> so hot, but you got an icy heart. Yup. That's Mato's effect, I guess. Alright then. Let's... I'll try this one, because why not? Oh great, is that a 2v1? That's a 2v1. Not what I wanted to see. <laughs> 
I don't even remember who I have in the second spot. That's how bad this is. Might just mean you're a gongo now that I'm thinking. So, Nummel and Kecleon, okay. Yeah, it is near a gongo. Which, you know what? I'll let you be kind of useful by burning that Kecleon. And turning it into a fire type so Bubble Beam will be more effective against it, because why not? Meanwhile, the other gnome will go down no problem. Not even a threat to my camel. Alright. Wonder how much experience I'll get out of Kecleon. That's kind of interesting to see. Now your fire type. Take double damage, which still won't be much, because I remember you have good special defense. But let's see how much this actually does. Oh wow, better than I thought. <laughs> I should not underestimate Maru. So, faint attack. Eh, barely doing anything. Because you're Maru. Oh nice, the crit. Yeah, one thing that's kind of clunky about Nirogongo, I can't just use Magnitude when I have someone like Maru or really anyone that isn't flying or levitating because I don't want to hit my own partner. I really don't. So I could have avoided the ambush entirely, but I didn't know what was coming. Speaking of ambush, there's also this guy who really doesn't want to be stressed out even though he's in a gym. Like, really, Axel? Really? Are you gonna be so stressed at your inability to do anything here? Bubble hype! Yeah. It's super effective. Fancy that. <laughs> oh man, you're hoping Flannery will flame me. Oh no, she's gonna flame me all over the forum, I guess. Yeah, I tried to make a joke out of that and there are so many trainers in here, holy crap. <laughs> and this guy really likes to talk, but whatever. Okay, Kindler Keegan. I like your name there. Two Ks. And then there was more bubbles, which probably won't kill Slugma because it's not a Nummel, but let's see. Oh, nice. <laughs> it actually killed it this time. When did you get so strong? Seriously. Okay, Pork Trooper, level 23, nothing for it, but you know what? I'm perfectly fine with this, just breathing through the gym with my water types. And which way do I want to go? Well, I guess I'll go the way of the ambush, because, again, I'm just willingly walking into all these trainers. Danielle and your, ooh, Metatite. What, did that thing have Fire Punch or something? In that case, I probably don't want to send out Irony, which I guess is ironic. <laughs> Just trying to make fun of her name, I guess. Paralyzed, nice. Confusion, alright, I can deal with that. What I was hoping to not have to deal with is actual confusion and haha, -ha, you tried to detect and failed. Get out of my face. Heh. <laughs> Barely took anything from that Metatite. So good. <laughs> Too strong. So, I guess I'll try this way? Nope, it was a trap. And so was... Oh no, I wanted to go that way, I guess. <laughs> I didn't even see that pit, though. So, I want to go up here. And I want to go up here. Are you in ambush? Nope. I think I want to go up here. Hmm, maybe not. Because I seem to remember that one being the good one. That could just be me, though. One of these is an ambush. Or not. But yeah, I seem to remember the one along the, the wall there being the one. Is it? Yeah, here's Flannery. And now to take care of some things. Alright, so now to go over my plan. I'm mainly gonna be relying on Maru because not only is she water type, but she also has sick fat, so she takes basically nothing from fire mode, which is so good. 
She can also hit with Bubble Beam even though she is kind of weak with it, but whatever. I also have Hake who also has Sick Fat which will help him against these fire moves. Which is pretty good for compensating for his rather lackluster special offense, but oh well. He can still hit hard. Of course I also have Jilly who really can't take a hit, but at least he can finally dish some out. Though he's only slightly stronger than Maru. And I guess I also have Nira Gongo. Because he can just magnitude stuff. Speaking of which, I seem to actually remember her leading with the uh with Slugma, so I wanna magnitude those instead of using Bubble Beam. Let's go with that. Oh yeah, you're trying to pretend to be someone you're not, that's cute. <laughs> Oh, the cringy tough talk. Let's just get straight to the battle. Flannery. One of the hottest gym leaders around. Ha ha. Oh. That's no laughing matter. I thought she led with Slugma. I was thinking of Ruby and Sapphire. Okay. So she's getting a free hit on Mato, sadly. And it might be spent using Sunny Day, because I remember she likes to use Sunny Day. Oh yeah, I was right. <laughs> well... Actually, maybe I should have stayed in and used Magnitude, but I didn't want to risk this thing using Magnitude. Give this thing some Bubble Beam! Even though it's only at half strength. Still good against the Numble. Take down... Okay. Not too bad. Are you low enough that Flannery will want to use one of her potions on you? Let's find out. Nope. I was hoping she'd waste it on a Numble. Okay. And yeah, I still have the experience here on Poor Trooper, because why not? Slugma, that's the thing I wanted to use near Gongo again. And I still can. Because I don't think Slugma can really do anything to a normal. So let's find out. Light screen, that's actually kind of annoying. But I still have magnitude, so yeah. Why was I about to use Ember? Seriously? Magnitude 9! Yeah! Will this? Yeah, there we go. Knocks out the Slugma. No problem. <laughs> Barely any experience because it's being split so many different ways. Camera up, you are not fighting that. And the sad thing is... Oh, I was gonna say the combination of Sunlight and Light Screen completely nullified the super weakness to my water move, but nope. Sunlight just had to fade, which is a good thing. So, Madu, you are absolutely my best bet. Don't get lucky with Magnitude. Okay, now its water weakness is completely neutralized. Oh well. Let's just give this thing some bubble beam, even though it's not weak to it anymore. Well, that's still kind of sizable for no weakness. And when's the light screen gonna wear off? That's what I'm wondering. Might be this turn for all I know. Tackle. I am so glad you're using that and not magnitude. You have no idea. <laughs> so now your light screen's gone. You can die. Right. That's the biggest threat out of the... Or not. <laughs> I saw for sure Bubble Beam was gonna kill it. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the Orin Berry which I gave to Madu. For a little bit of extra health, why not? But yeah, there we go. She finally waited in her Hyper Potion. A sunny day though. Kind of brutal. Oh my goodness. Oh, sunlight's gone. Get out of here. Your weakness has come back to bite you, camera up. You cannot escape it. Pretty decent experience, especially for Pork Trooper. And now, the big thing. The Torkoal. And there's no way I can reduce the stats because it has white smoke, so... Might as well just give it some bubble beam. Level 29, though. I'm four levels under this thing at my best. Body Slam. Is that gonna... That's gonna do a little too much damage for my liking. So... Hmm. 
Actually, I could do something here. But I kind of don't want to risk it. Just to know, okay. He should be able to take over heat since he has sick fat. Nice, he doesn't get paralyzed. Free damage, because why not? It's not very much, but it's damage. Oh, this thing insists on just using Body Slam? Oh, now I see why. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that was not at all what I wanted to see. Hmm, suddenly I'm in a bad spot. Maybe I shouldn't have entered this place so underleveled. So you are absolutely gonna die from Body Slam. Mario's not too good at taking it. Jilly's not too good. Your Gongo is also not too good at taking it. And might not even outrun that Torkoal, if I'm being honest. Because my other guys that have been slow but still outrunning it, they're way faster than your Gongo. Wow, I have nobody who's good at taking Body Slam. This is actually kind of bad, not gonna lie. But, I think my best bet is actually irony, because I need to give this thing some paralysis. Because overheats are coming and both of my sick fat mods are unable to take it. Okay. Yeah, irony, I'm so sorry about this, having to make another sacrifice play. I really don't like doing this, but you have to stun this thing. Okay. Maybe you can get lucky and it'll get full para? Let's see. No. Oh. I was hoping for some irony there, but no. Sorry, irony. Well, now that it's paralyzed, at least Nira Gongo can do something about it. You should be able to take overheat if it manages to use it. So, magnitude 8, is it gonna get to? Is it strong enough to survive? Just barely. But it just keeps using Body Slam, really? Come on, Yuragongo, get lucky. Get lucky. Because this is actually very, very bad. Magnitude 7. Yeah, after how little Magnitude 8 did, I'm not confident even 10 will kill it now. Oh my goodness. This is not what I wanted to have happen at all. Things are dying now because of that friggin' Torkoal. Ugh. If only my mods were bulkier. I have to do this. Sorry, Nyaragongo. Maybe you can hope for full para. But then, we saw how that worked for irony. And... Oh, nice! Get as much damage as you can, Yuragongo. Come on! Maybe you can lock out? Maybe that'll be the irony I need? No. <laughs> Every time I make that joke, something dies. What is going on here? Well, Jilly. This is your moment. You finally learned Bubble Beam. Now you're getting to use it. And this thing's special offenses and all that, huh? So can you knock it out? Oh my god, did you? Finally! Oh my goodness. And Hake okay, gets a level up. Nice. <laughs> wow. Just... Wow. You finally learned Bubble Beam, and it turns out to save me from having more deaths than what I had. Oh my goodness. I don't care about your lesson. You killed two of my Pokémon! But at least I got the heat badge for it. Worth it? It's kind of hard to decide. So much death. Oh my goodness. So, overheat. I should not have come into the place so underleveled. That was absolutely my hubris. So yeah, overheat. Not sure what I can teach it to in the future. I'm saving it for the future though, so... Yeah, finally done with that after some 45, almost 46 minutes of recording. Wow. But yeah, there's the other killer of so many of my Pokemon. But at least she finally gives me something for it. The Go Goggles, which will 
Those will be pretty nice in the next episode, but yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, now that that's done, I guess I'll see you all in the next episode of Shark King's Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. See you then, peeps.